Hey YouTube, welcome to my video. I uh, did some editing here uh, and added some videos, some proof of uh, what people said and, and whatnot. So now I did want to say I did cut out a lot of this video, uh, the debate itself, because a lot of it was just opinions and arguing. So I got rid of all that. Um, couldn't really prove any of that. So I uh, hope you enjoy what you see here. And I know it's very long, but uh, hopefully you can sit through it and uh, hit that like button and subscribe because it did take me three and a half hours. Thanks. Bye. Died. And a lot more are going to die unless he gets a lot smarter, a lot quicker. So, Mr. Moves. President? Did you use the word smart? Uh, so you said you went to Delaware State, but you forgot the name of your college. You didn't <laughs> go to so. Delaware State. You graduated either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Looks like a post uh, by the Washington Post article posted in 1987 you see that right there looks like this goes all the way back to 87 where they he even lied back then the washington post had an article that they refurbished into uh, of course a website here where it says that he has the 80 he was 80th in out of 100 in his first 79 out of 87 in his second year and 76 out of 85 so that's pretty low hbcus I, I got started out of an HBCU, Delaware State. Now, I don't want to hear anything negative about Delaware State here, okay? They're, they're, they're my folks, but all kidding aside. Now, we found that elderly people with heart problems and uh, diabetes and different problems are very, very vulnerable. We learned a lot. Young children aren't. Uh, even younger people aren't. We've learned a lot. All right, there's roughly on estimation about 180 million people under the age of 55. Divide that by 15,000 comes up to give you a 12,000 difference. So that is a one in 12,000 chance that people under 55 will die, which is a lot lower than people over 55 because there's 160 million people over the age of 55 and there's roughly about 185,000 total deaths. Divide that gives you a one in 864 chance of dying. So it is literally almost, well, probably more than 10 times the chance of dying if you're over the age of 55. Well, mask, mask make a big difference. His own head of the CDC said if we just wore masks between now, if there, everybody wore masks in social distance between now and January, we'd probably save up to 100,000 lives. It matters. And they've also it said matters. the opposite. They've and also said no, the opposite. no serious person said the opposite. They've no also said, well, look, serious right, person. Dr. Fauci. Dr. Fauci said the he opposite. He did not I, I say the opposite. We got he a said little very bit strongly, more than a minute left in this masks segment. Masks are not good. Right now in the United States, people should not be walking around with masks. You're sure of it? Because people are listening really no, closely to this. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. And often, there are unintended consequences. People keep fiddling with the mask and they keep touching their face. Then he changed his mind. He said, mask good. I, I wanna Tell us about the thinking on that, because just a few days ago, we were told uh, that the thinking was that it was not necessary. I think what people don't fully appreciate is that putting a mask on yourself is more to prevent you from infecting someone else. Did you see that one of the last big rallies he had and a reporter came up to him to ask him a question. He said, no, 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 stand back, put on your mask, put on a mask. Have you been tested? I'm way, I'm way far away from those other people. As I, as I said, posing the question, the president says it's a V-shaped recovery. You say it's a K-shaped recovery. What's the difference? The difference is millionaires and billionaires like him in the middle of the COVID crisis have done very well. Another billionaires have, raised, have made another $300 billion because of his profligate tax uh, uh, proposal, and he only focused on the market. Okay, technically this isn't true um, unless they sell their shares, uh, which Elon Musk can't. Well, he wouldn't because, well, he gets a better payout if he holds on to them for the years to come uh, so that they can uh, have four quarter earnings and reach a certain uh, net market cap for the company. Um, so technically they are more wealthier because their net worth has gone up because they own those shares and the shares of the value went up. Um, but it, they aren't really richer until they actually sell those shares. So if you look at Amazon, Amazon has doubled, uh, pretty much doubled in in this year. Um, so now let's say your home was once worth 300000 and since everything, the market changed, your home is now worth $1 million. 
Are you technically $1 million richer? No, because you haven't sold and liquidated that cash. So yes, your house is worth a million, but that doesn't mean it's going to be worth a million next year. Everything could go back down. The stock could crash back to downward to where it was on the levels of uh, pre-COVID the in December. You know, you never know. So technically, yes, they are richer now, but unless they liquidate all those stocks and walk away with cash, they're not really uh, realizing that they are technically richer. They, they were going to give, his administration was going to give the teachers and school students masks. And then they decided, no, couldn't do that because it's not a national emergency. Not a national emergency. They've done nothing to help small businesses. Nothing. They're closing. One in six is now gone. He ought to get on the job and take care of the needs of the American people so we can open safely. All right. I know that you pay a lot of other taxes, but I'm asking you the specific question. Is it true that you paid $750 in federal income taxes each of those two years? I paid millions of dollars in taxes, millions of dollars of income tax. And let me just tell you, there was a story in one of the papers. Show I paid, your tax I paid $38 million one year. I paid $27 million Show us your tax year. returns. I went uh, you'll see it as soon as it's finished. You'll see it. You know, oh. if you want to do, go to the Board of Elections. There's a 118-page or so report that says everything I have, every bank I have, I'm totally under-leveraged because the assets are extremely I good, and we have a very, we have a, we, I built Sir, a great I'm asking company. you a specific question, which but is. But let me tell you. I, I understand all of that. I, I understand return. all of that. But, but let me, I, no, Mr. President, go ahead. I'm asking you a question. Will you tell us how much you paid in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017? Millions of dollars. You paid millions of dollars? Millions in, of dollars, So yes. not 750. Millions of dollars, and you'll get to see I, it. Okay, this is posted by the New York Times. <clears throat> Tells you everything that they have in 2017. And 16, looks like Trump lost a total of $12,819,000. Um, goes down here and it says that he had to pay an alternative minimum tax after his losses offsetting his his gains. Um, he's using his losses to offset his gains because his, his you know businesses go up and down all the time throughout the year. Um, it looks like his accountants were able to work the tax laws and a total of minimum tax of seven hundred seven million four hundred thirty five thousand and a loss of seven million four hundred thirty five thousand one hundred seven. So that comes out to be a total total of seven hundred fifty. I'm, and you'll get to when? see it. But and let me Shalom. just tell you, Chris, let me just tell you something, that it was the tax laws. I don't want to pay tax. Be before I came here, I was a private developer. I was a private business people. Like every other private person, unless they're stupid, they go through the laws, and that's what it is. Uh, he passed a tax bill that gave us all these privileges for depreciation and for uh, tax credits. We build the building and we get tax credits like the hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue. You get okay. a massive, which, by the way, was given to me by the Obama administration, if you can believe that. So this is true. Obama did get Trump his tax cuts based on the balance.com Obama tax cuts. Um, this was not just for Trump. This was for everyone. As we all know, the housing market crash happened in 2009. So this was kind of a reboot uh, to all the businesses so they can uh, thrive again to the to where they were before the housing market crashed. All right. And I thought this part was just kind of funny. You were a senator. And You're the, the worst way, you president vice... America has <laughs> ever had. Hey, hey, Come Joe, on. Let me, let me just tell you, Joe, I've done more in in 47 months. I've done more than you've done in 47 years, Joe. If you got in, if you ever became president with your ideas, you want to terminate my tax, my taxes, I, I'll tell you what, you'll lose half of the companies that have poured in here will leave, and plenty half of, companies, of companies that are already here, they'll leave for other places. Have they will leave, and you will have a I depression mean, the, the likes I mean, of which you've never seen. Look, in when fact, COVID there was came no. when there was record un low unemployment yeah. before COVID. Yeah, but, but because what he did, even before COVID, manufacturing went in the hole. Manufacturing went in a hole. Excuse number me, one. Chris. Wait. Number two. Chris. Number three. They said they, it would take. They, they, no, you're number two. No. Chris, Chris, 
They said it would this take a miracle to bring back manufacturing. I brought back 700,000 jobs. They brought back nothing. They gave up on manufacturing. We Part did of not my forget. standard fare. I'm the guy that he brought totally back gave the automobile up on manufacturing. Right, let him we brought back, I was asked to bring back Chrysler and General Motors. We brought them back right here in the state of Ohio and Michigan. He blew it. They're gone. He blew it. And in fact, they're going. Ohio had the best year thing. it's ever had last year. Okay, based off of good car bad car dot net here's the growth as you can tell this is 2019 scrolling up 2019 auto uh, by brand reports as of december year to date it looks like genesis did uh, pretty much double uh <laughs> impressively uh going over here chevrolet did minus three percent chrysler did minus 23 percent fiat did even horrible ford actually lost so it looks like GMC is probably the biggest American car factor that won here in terms of gain. It looks like imports did uh, overall the best. In China ate your lunch, Joe, uh, and but, no wonder uh, your son goes in and he takes out what he takes out uh, billions of dollars, takes out billions of dollars to manage. He makes millions of dollars. And also, while we're at true. it, why simply is it true. just out of curiosity? The mayor of Moscow's wife gave your son three and a half million dollars. What did he true. do to deserve it? That what did he do with Barista to deserve one hundred eighty-three thousand dollars? None of that is true. Not an answer. Not none of that is true. So this is actually pretty sus suspicious here because, uh, as you can see, this is Hunter, right? This is Biden. This right here is is uh, Hunter's lawyer, and this guy over here, his name is Devon Archer. So Devon Archer, who is Devon Archer? Devon Archer is a Ukrainian gas executive. And it looks like down here, The Hill reported the image was a thrust into the media limelight by Fox News host Tucker Carlson on September 30th, who held it, it up as a counter to Joe Biden's claim that he and Hunter Biden never discussed his son's Ukraine business dealings. But yet here they are with the Ukrainian gas executive together golfing. Chris, no, I, can I be honest? It's a very important try to question. Be honest. No, he I, I stood good. up. No, he stood I, I, up. The answer to the question is no. Ukraine. No, I, sir. With a billion sir, dollars, if you that get rid is of absolutely you know what? You're, wait, not true. You're, you're, tape you're doing it. You're going to have tape. true. Gentlemen. Is, <laughs> um, I remember going over convincing our team, our <clears throat> others, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, right, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev and... Uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to press conference, said, no, nah. I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid. You have to look at what he did. And what he did has been disastrous for the African-American community. So, Pre President Trump, you have two minutes. Why should Americans right. trust you over your opponent to deal with racism? He did a crime bill. 1994, where you call them super predators, African Americans, the super predators, and they've never forgotten it. They've never forgotten it, Joe. No, no, sir, it's his two minutes. So you did that, and they call you a super predator, and I'm letting people out of jail now that you have treated the African American population community, you have treated the black community about as bad as anybody in this country. You did the 1990, and that's why, if you look at the polls, I'm doing better than any Republican has done in a long time, because they saw what you did. You call them super predators. Born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure, without any conscience developing, because they literally, I yield myself three more minutes, because they literally have not been socialized. They literally have not had an opportunity. We should focus on them now. If we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets. 
We, we could very quickly. We can do that, but I'm not. Send no, in I'm, the National I'm, Guard, it would be over. There'd be no problem. Okay. But they but don't want to accept the National Guard. You have repeatedly we, criticized the, the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left-wing extremist right. groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, you you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. What are your views on the Ku Klux Klan and white supremacists? I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. I've been doing it now for two weeks. This is you're probably about the 18th person that's asked me the question. It was very clear. That question was also talked about in the form of groups. Groups. I want to know which groups are you talking about? Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right Would you like me to condemn? White proud proud supremacists boys. and right proud, proud boys. boys. Stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem. His this is a left-wing. This said is a left-wing no, problem. Ahead, White supremacist. Antifa's an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it. Not militia. Joe Biden was correct about Antifa and the FBI, saying that there's no direct link. However, of course, there are people that follow this idea and organize like these people. Things like, um, we are unapologetic about the reality that fighting fascism at points requires physical militancy. What does that mean? That means that when fascists come to our city to attack people, we are going to put our bodies between fascists and the people they want to attack and try to prevent them from doing that. When you say put our bodies, that sounds like a, a, a passive statement, but Sometimes you are not just putting your bodies, but you are acting with your bodies. You're also hitting and you're throwing things and, and you're reacting violently. Would be self-defense. Although ideologically that's what you believe in, in reality, in, in the legal system, that would count as assault. And, 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 and just being suckers. My son was in Iraq. He spent a year there. He got the, he got the Bronze Star. He got the Conspicuous Service Medal. He was not a loser. He was a patriot. And the people left behind oh, there really? were heroes. Really? And I resent Are you talking like about hell. Hunter? Are you talking about I'm Hunter? I'm talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking about I don't about know. Bo. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, you know got thrown, Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. He wasn't dishonorably For cocaine use. And he didn't have a job until you became vice president. Once you None became of that vice president, true. he made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is simply and various not other places. True. 44-year-old Hunter Biden, Vice President Joe Biden's youngest son, was discharged from the Navy Reserve after testing positive for cocaine. As India does, they all do. We're supposed to be good. And by the way, he made a couple of statements. The Green New Deal is a hundred trillion dollars. That is not, not my billion. plan. She was asking about the Green New Deal. Do you back that, or do you think it's too much? Too, no, I don't think too it's far. too much. No, I have my own deal. I've laid it out in great detail. In which the Democratic Party's adopted as a platform. It requires for us to move in a direction to fundamentally change the way in which we deal. This is interesting because on the campaign, it, he has a Green New Deal, but he doesn't support it. So there's some kind of difference in difference in within his own campaign he and his friends made it up and then they went with it i never said it okay that is what he true. did Sir, is he you're said, done in this segment he called Mr. the Vice, military Mr. Vice President, stupid bastards i, I did he not said it on wait, tape wait, wait, he said Mr. stupid Mr. bastards please, he not, said it. stop i would never I say would that play to it stop. play it go ahead notwithstanding what you may hear about me i have incredibly good judgment one, I married Jill. And two, I appointed Johnson to the Academy. I just want you to know that. Clap for that. And you are well done. In the first of three debates that you have agreed to engage in, we want to thank Case Western Reserve University. 
and the Cleveland Clinic for hosting this event. The next debate, sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Debates, will be one week from tomorrow, October 7th, at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. The two vice presidential nominees, Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Kamala Harris, will debate at 9 p.m. Eastern that night. We hope you watch. Until then, thank you and good night.